Hello and welcome to Codemasters. My name is Gavin Rayburn. I'm the senior executive producer on the Dirt series of games. Today we're going to take a sneak look behind the scenes of Dirt 2. Follow me. First today we're going to look at our new particle system. Now what we've got over here is a rolling road with a car driving along it. What this allows us to do is quickly iterate in real time different types of effects to see what works and what doesn't. One of the other areas of Dirt 2 that's coming for some special treatment is in the water effect. The standing water has an effect on the car because it adds drag, so it slows it down significantly the deeper the water is. Now this actually plays a big part when racing in a game because it's, it becomes more important to actually pick your line through a route. Also, when driving through puddles in headcam mode especially, you'll find lots of mud and water splashed on the screen. And of course, this reduces visibility, so you have to wait for the mud and water wiped from the screen so you can see where you're driving. So let's go. Now we're going to take a look at the audio. Uh, we had a lot of praise for the audio in Dirt 1, but for Dirt 2, we really want to improve those car sounds, which I think we've done now. Have a listen to this. Another feature we're really happy with in Dirt 2 is the fact that now you can take one single ride at the start of the game and you take it right through the game. Now, we enable the player to be able to do that by adding packs to the car. So for example here we have a Mitsubishi Evo 10. Now that's in its rally format here but we can have different packs like a trailblazer pack to take it on a trailblazer race or a rally cross pack as well. Another area that's seen a lot of improvement in Dirt 2 is in the handling system. Now, listening to a lot of feedback from players who played our game, we're very keen to get a much more weighty feel in the cars, specifically with the tyre physics in relation to how the tyres respond to the road. So things like Scandinavian flicks are a lot easier to do. And finally for Dirt 2, we've now got a much more realistic lighting model, which allows us to do lots of different things within the scene. What we have now is lots of nice things like environmental fog and proper sun flare, all adds to, to build a, a more comprehensive and believable scene. We also have our new deferred lighting system, which for nighttime scenes um, gives a lot more depth again because it means we can have hundreds and hundreds, thousands even, of individual lights within the scene. Well, that's the end of our sneak look behind the scenes of Dirt 2. Hope you enjoyed what you saw, and we very much look forward to showing you more over the coming months. Thank you.